Hi, everyone, and welcome to The Daily Tech Show. I'm your host, John Meyer. And typically on this show, we're bringing you public cloud leaders and their thoughts on important happenings in the tech world. But today, we have a very special episode that is for my family, specifically my kids. Now, you're probably wondering why we're wearing these Share the Love t-shirts. You're going to want to stick around for this episode because we're going to show you how we finally got to meet one of their favorite YouTubers, Stephen Scher. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and the notification because we have an awesome video to share, excuse the pun, for you. First, I need to take you back to last year. My son, who is an outstanding soccer player, just got done playing in the indoor league that I coach. Now, mind you, this is 2020, early on before the pandemic. We were having a team celebration, and during that time, he was invited by other coaches to go to Wildwood, New Jersey in July of last year for a soccer tournament called Beach Blast. Man, I was really excited to go and see him compete with other teammates on the beach. This was going to be a first. My wife and I quickly booked our trip to the KOA campground in Cape May, New Jersey, and we couldn't wait to attend. Well, last year, as we know, it was a challenging time, and they canceled Beach Blast. After discussing with my wife, we decided to still go camping and make the best of it. You know, during the drive down, my kids were telling us about one of their YouTubers, Stephen Scherer, that was looking at beach houses in Avalon, New Jersey. He mentioned that he was looking at probably three to four houses in the area and he wanted to purchase one. And they asked if we could go find it. Well, after talking about it and looking up how far away Avalon was from Wildwood, we decided to take a drive up there. But here's the funny part. My kids didn't know where or the address of the location. They kept saying it was by the bay. You know, most of the videos give an approximation of the location of what they call beach house number three, but we didn't know where it was. So, but we decided to take a drive anyway, and we didn't want to disappoint the kids because they were super excited to have the chance to see the house. And they thought they were going to meet him as well. After driving around for like 20, 30, I don't know, it could have been 40 minutes. We couldn't find the house at all. We were driving up and down streets, trying to look for things that seemed familiar, but Mind you, I only watched one quick video to see if we can locate it, and we couldn't find anything. We decided to take a break and grab something to eat. Now, before I continue, what were you thinking when we couldn't find his beach house number three? I was a little disappointed. Yeah, that we were driving up and down, but you were still super excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jory, what did you think? I was a little disappointed that we couldn't find it, but I still wanted to find it. Yeah. Well, it was nice to sit down in Avalon and grab something to eat. Now, if you really like this content, you're going to want to stick around because we have the video from last year. We have a video from this year and some awesome pictures to share. So don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and the notification because the kids get to meet their favorite YouTuber and you're going to want to see that one. All right, back to our story. You know, I think my wife and I were probably more disappointed than the kids were that we couldn't find any of his houses because we, we, we saw their excitement. And obviously, as a parent, you don't want to disappoint them. But we couldn't drive around Avalon forever looking for a house that they saw on YouTube with an approximation of an address. Well, while we were eating, I searched up a few of his latest videos and was just watching them really quickly because, you know, obviously, I didn't have hours to go through all of them. And I noticed in one of the videos that he walked past a street sign talking about his beach houses. Uh, it gave a, more, a little bit more of an accurate location of beach house number three and possibly the house that he bought, beach house number four. Needless to say, when I mentioned this, this to the kids, their eyes perked up. They were done eating. They were ready to go back on the hunt. You know, all of us hopped back in the car and we were looking for beach house number three and hopefully beach house number four. As we were driving close to the area, I could feel my kids get more and more excited and they couldn't sit still in the back seat. We went down the street that was in his video, but to our disappointment, the kids didn't recognize any of the houses, including beach house number three. It looked to us that his video might have been recorded in one area and they probably drove to another location to look at it. Well, the kids were searching for any and all information and I decided to pull over and check my phone to see if we can get another hint. Just as we were about to give up, all of a sudden things started to look familiar in the area to the kids. And then to our surprise, we were one block away from beach house number three. Well, 
I pulled up in front of the house and the kids and I got out to take a look because they wanted to get a picture in front of it. The excitement was on. Jordan, what did you think when we pulled up in front of Beach House number three? I was shocked that we actually could find one of them. Yeah, me too. I was surprised. I didn't think we were going to locate it. Haley, what did you think? I was really excited and happy we found one of them. Yeah, I'm same here. Well, while we were taking pictures, I figured why not do a video of us in front of it? Post it on YouTube and try to tag Steven, Steven to see if he would comment. Maybe he would give us a hint on Beach House number four. <laughs> I know the odds were really low and I think it was borderline stalking, but as an entertainer, I'm sure he's used to it. Now, real quick, here's a video from our trip last year. Take a look. Hey, Steven Scherer, we're here in Avalon, New Jersey, checking out house number three. We're on the hunt for house number four, but we can't find it. We did see in your video that you were past 72nd and Dune Street here at house number three, which we think is awesome. My kids want to say hi. 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 They had me drive all around. We drove up and down looking for this. We even watched some more of your YouTube videos just to try to figure out where you were at they wanted to take a picture in front of it so the only thing we got is house number three here go ahead give us a comment let us know where you're at we're going to be in town for the next two days they would like to try to get a stop by and get a picture thanks a lot steven we appreciate it what do you guys say share the love Share the love. Share the, love. the amazing thing is we got over forty six thousand views on it and over 1,000 likes of a 48 second video and even though we didn't get a chance to find beach house number four, or they didn't get a chance to meet or greet Steve and Cher, the kids were really happy. Now, real quick, Haley, what did you think of our video we did last year? I liked it. It got a lot of views. Yeah. Joy, what did you think of our video from last year? I, I was surprised that it got that many views. Yeah. A lot of people liked it. They commented on, on the video. Now, Stick around because we're going to show you the video from this year and pictures from just a few days ago that the kids got with Steve and Cher. All right, time to fast forward to a week ago, right before our trip down to Wildwood, New Jersey again. We were able to narrow down where actually Steve and Cher's beach house number four or current house was with some really hard detective work and the help of someone commenting on our video from last year with the street address. Well, actually, mostly it was the person that commented. So a big thank you to the fan that helped. All right. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button because we're going to continue on and show you the video from this year that we did in front of Stephen Shearer's house. Now, it's time to go on our first beach trip of the year and back down the Wildwood, which was just a few days ago. Our first day we were there, we were just getting settled into the beach, caught a few waves, jumped into the hotel pool. And just, you know, kind of lounge around and relax a little bit. On the second day, we helped out with the soccer tournament. And after that, we decided to take a trip back up to Avalon in hopes of locating Stephen's house. Now, our trip from the hotel to Avalon actually didn't start off too well. All of us piled into the car. I turned the ignition and all we heard was a couple clicks. Well, I guess this might not be happening. Jordan, what did you think when the car didn't start? Well, I thought we couldn't, we weren't going to be able to make it to Stephen's house. Yeah, I know. I mean, that was kind of a, a little surprise. Haley, what did you think when that car didn't start? I was really sad and thought we weren't going to be able to find it. Yeah, I was a little disappointed for the kids. I'm thinking we planned all this. We were all super excited, ready to go. Well, give me a little backstory, Mike. Wife's car has the battery behind the passenger seat. And before we left over the trip, I decided, decided to take a portable battery pack. I'm really actually not sure because our car is a 2016 and we've never had a problem with it. As I removed the floor mat, I looked at the screw and I realized that it was a torque screw. And then I remember just the other day, I was cleaning out the glove box and I found a torque screwdriver and I couldn't remember what it was for. I decided to take it out and put it back in my tool toolbox. Talk about weird timing because now I could not get to the battery with the battery pack. I had to go back into the hotel, ask for the maintenance person to see if they had one so I can get to the battery. After about five minutes, uh, someone came down and to our surprise, they had a torque screw with them. So, our torque screwdriver, but anyway, back to it. They were able to open it up for us 
uh and you know i was like man this is a little interesting. i hooked up the battery pack had my wife start the car not to my surprise it turned over but i was just relieved that we weren't going to have to go to a shop instead of going to avalon it seems like the battery wasn't holding the charge so the battery was a little low it's uh why didn't it come up on the meter and just to uh you know our interest is that two days before we had the car in the shop why didn't it come up on their meter tester who knows actually who cares because it it all worked out as you're going to hear the rest of the story on how the kids got pictures with steven share now i have to tell you the person who commented on the location was spot on we made it to the location that they mentioned but we didn't see the house. My wife and I actually thought that this person was sending us to an unknown location. And, but to our surprise, as we turned down the street, we immediately saw Stephen Share's house with all the toys that he had in his front yard. I continued down the street and quickly made a U turn and literally pulled up in front of his house. I mean, we parked. Take a look at this picture of us parking right in front of his house. Now, Haley, what did you think as we were pulling up to his house? I was so excited and happy that we found it. Yeah. Now, let, let me ask you a question. How did you recognize it was his house? Because he had his golf cart and then like a jet ski doom buggy thing in front. Like a moped? Yeah. What did you think when we pulled up in front of his house, Jordan? I was amazed that we could actually find it and it was pretty cool. I think my wife and I were super excited that we literally went down the street, made a left, and we're right in front of his house. We were thinking it was going to be a huge gated community. Uh, but hey, this is, this is really cool. My daughter was a little nervous to get out, but my son hopped right out, stood on the sidewalk, and couldn't wait for his picture. Eventually, my daughter got out, got her picture in front of his toys that he had out front. Of course, we had to do another video. Take a look. Yep. Go. Hi, Stephen Cher. My name is John Meyer, and I'm here with my kids. Last year, we were down in the same area looking for your house. And after a full year, we're back. And guess what? We were able to find it through some detective skills and one generous fan who gave us a sort of a slight location of where you're at. We wanted to tell you thank you so much. My kids are super happy to be here. They took those uh, videos. We're going to post them out there on my YouTube channel and theirs. Thank you so much. We're going to go try to see if we can catch you in town. Thank you. What do we say? Share the love. love. After we were done with the video and the pictures, I didn't think it could get any better for the kids. I mean, my wife and I were super happy that we found the house for them. But it gets better. I have to tell you about the awesome neighbor who gave us the inside scoop on Steven. Apparently, he was in town and only two miles away at a local shop doing another YouTube video and giving away free swag, or as my kids call it, merch. And he was only doing it for an hour. I mean, talk about perfect timing. My wife quickly looked up the shop's location and we were, went off thinking that we would, there would be a huge line. As we were driving down the street, my kids spotted his Sherrigini and spy wagon parked in front of the local shop. So we quickly pulled over into a spot and jumped out. Now my kids, they got their pictures in front of his cars. Take a look. Kids, what, what did you think when we pulled up and you saw his cars? It was really cool getting to see them in person. Yeah, I, I, you know what? I've seen a couple of his videos, and I think it was just cool to see that it was reality. Jordan, what did you think? I was amazed that he had, like, about the wrap on the spy wagon that he, like, the metallic one. I really would like that. Uh, yeah, that was actually pretty cool. You'll see those in the pictures. All right. Now... My wife and I were really super happy for the kids, but we also told them that there's a possibility that you might not meet him because we didn't even know about it. And we got here a little late and we're trying to set expectations and we didn't want to disappoint them. All right, real quick. Jordan, what did you think about that line? It was really long. Yeah. 
Haley, what did you think about that line? I thought we weren't going to be able to get there. It, it was it was a short line, but we thought we were late and we weren't going to make it in, in there. So, but after about 20 minutes, a whole bunch of people came out with boxes and boxes of swag or merch. And uh, after about five minutes, they started handing out T-shirts, hats, even stickers to everyone. I mean, it was really cool to get all this free swag and as much as you want of the merchandise. Now. We figured we'd wear some of our merch for this recording. Now, once they were done handing out the shirts, the hats, even all the stickers, it was time for the main event. Steven Scherer came out to greet his fans. Now, personally, I thought that he was just going to stand back and say, you know, hey, everybody, thanks for coming. Here's a picture of it. And, you know, that was it. But what was really interesting is that he started coming down to each individual and you went through the line and he took a picture and you got your autograph with him. He signed some of the merchandise as you see here. So this is pretty cool of Steven that he actually, you got a chance to have a picture with him. What did you think when you finally got up to have your picture with Steven? It was super exciting. Yeah. I I thought it was pretty cool. What did you think when you finally got your picture with Steven? I thought it was really cool and I had nothing to say. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little nervous. Yeah, I mean, I was nervous for you guys. So, you know, this was probably an interesting turn because if we didn't have the battery didn't start in my wife's car and we didn't have that delay, we would have never ran into Stephen's neighbors who told us that he was into town. So it all worked out in some weird way, but it was pretty cool for the kids. So this short family vacation without much planning turned into some excitement to the kids and it was fun to close a chapter after a year of looking for his house. Thank you, Stephen Sheriff, for the merch and taking the time out for your fans. Kids, anything you want to say? Thank you. And share the love.